Bioactive enclosures can be some of the most beautiful and rewarding to keep your reptiles in. But are they difficult to maintain and keep healthy? Well in this video I'm going to show you guys what I do on a weekly basis for this mountain dragon enclosure which is absolutely going nuts. Now as you can see this setup has been doing amazing. The plants have been growing out like crazy and today I think I'll finally give it its first trim back. These lamandras just grow out like mad. But the mountain dragons absolutely love hanging around in them. They usually sleep in them and just hang out all through them. There's another one there using it for cover. Now, of course, each individual setup is going to differ quite a bit in how you look after it and all the personal needs it's going to have, especially with different plant species. Some might be a bit more sensitive. Um, you just got to really find what will work for you. But as far as this particular setup goes, once a week, all I really have to do for the plants is grab a big bottle of water like this and just drench them a bit. Give them a good soaking. Again, only once a week. You don't want them to be totally drenched all the time. Give them a good drink just like that. Then once the plants have had a good drink comes the really fun part. Now, you don't just want the plants to get some humidity, you want the reptiles too as well and all the little custodians, all the isopods, springtails, everything that's living inside this enclosure. You don't want the substrate to totally dry out and um, desiccate. So uh, I come along with a big spray bottle and I just start drenching it in here. And what I typically notice is that it starts to elicit a bit of a response out of the mountain dragons. Just give it a bit of time and they'll uh, start moving around, becoming a bit more active, start drinking and really utilizing this little rain shower. they'll usually jump down to the ground and sort of wallow around in the leaf litter a bit you know scratch themselves help with shedding all that sort of stuff and uh, they just really seem to enjoy it it's nothing it's a response that I don't see from anything else other than giving them a big spray down like this and uh, it's just really fun to watch them do their thing now these guys being a coastal species of course it's good to give them a bit of humidity simulate some rainstorms every now and again for them and of course being in captivity under all this artificial lighting all day and inside a house it's going to naturally decrease the humidity take it out of the soil and the enclosure in general that's really what a lot of reptile enclosures do is they really pull out any sort of moisture and humidity so it's really good to add that back in with a bit of a spray down and you can see the animals like it he's having a bit of a drink now soaking himself in it moving himself around and for here in this bioactive enclosure they actually do like to go to the toilet on this rock a little bit so what I can do is actually adjust the nozzle of my sprayer here and literally just sort of power wash all this stuff off. It'll end up down in the soil, 
become fertilizer for the plants and also food for the isopods, springtails, all that sort of stuff. And it also cleans the rock as well, makes it look nice. Yeah, keeping that system going. So I'll normally do this during the afternoon to simulate an afternoon rain shower essentially and the next day, pretty much by the middle of the next day, with all the lighting and everything going on, it's going to totally dry out all this top layer and everything like that, but that really good soaking is obviously going to keep that moisture down inside your soil layer, which will be perfect. And if you want to dig around or anything like that, they can access that and uh, it'll keep everything functioning very, very well. Aside from that, if the leaf litter starts to break down too much, I'll add in some new stuff to replenish it and revitalize that soil. Otherwise, I'll feed the dragons, but really, it is quite a simple system to keep going. And it makes keeping these awesome little dragons all that more enjoyable. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little update on the mountain dragon enclosure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more Australian reptiles, and we'll see you in the next video.